whether you like it or not this is happening and it is going to happen so fast that it will change the fabric of our society this week we will talk about the artificial intelligence positions of the future if you have not been following the ai improvements in the past 30 days listen up because you might lose your job in the next 6 to 12 months we build software, we do web development, and we do digital marketing, and we implement online marketing strategies as well. So one thing we have been discussing is how the job marketplace will change as AI keeps improving. So here are 10 AI positions of the future. One, AI operator. It doesn't matter what your title is right now and what you went to school for. There's a 90% chance that your title is going to change to AI operator in the next 12 to 24 months. Let me explain. Juan is our video specialist and video editor. He's right behind the camera right now. Juan shoots video, edits video, and gives us the final video product, which then we upload on Instagram, we upload on YouTube, we optimize, we create articles from, etc., etc. What if we did not need Juan to create the videos or edit the videos? What if AI could build these videos from basic text prompts within a matter of minutes? This technology exists today. So how does Juan keep his job? Well, Juan would not be a video specialist or video editor. His title would change to AI video operator. Juan would operate all these AI tools that we have and make sure that we create these processes so that AI can output incredible videos. 90% of his time is going to be eliminated. He will not be setting up cameras, he will not be editing videos, but 50% of his time is going to be spent on keeping up with the technology and the functionalities of AI. 30% of his job is going to be operating the AI, and 20% of his job is going to be creative. So most of us are going to become AI operators, and if you don't become an AI video operator, AI marketing operator, AI accounting operator, you are going to be out of a job. AI operators will be responsible for ensuring that AI systems run smoothly and efficiently. They will monitor the performance of AI models, diagnose and resolve issues, and ensure that data is processed accurately. AI operators, and it doesn't matter what industry you're in, will work closely with data scientists and engineers to optimize AI models and ensure that these AI models meet business requirements. Two, AI engineers. AI engineers will design, create, and implement AI systems. They will be responsible for building and maintaining AI algorithms and models, as well as developing software applications that can leverage AI capabilities. AI engineers will have strong programming skills and knowledge of the machine learning techniques. Three, and this is where it gets interesting, AI architects. If you are currently a C-level or a director level, this is going to be your title. As an AI architect, you will be responsible for building and managing these entire ecosystems. AI architects will design the overall architecture of AI systems. They will be responsible for selecting the right hardware and software components to build robust and scalable AI systems. AI architects will have to have a deep understanding of AI algorithms and architectures, as well as knowledge of cloud computing, distributed systems, and big data technologies. The future of directors and C-levels are going to be these AI architects. Four, AI product managers who will be responsible for developing and managing AI-based products and services. They will work closely with cross-functional teams, including AI engineers, AI data scientists, AI designers, and business owners or business stakeholders to define product requirements and develop product roadmaps and ensure the successful product launches of AI systems. Now, this position is tricky because as AI improves, we are not going to need product managers. AI will take over this responsibility. Five, here's another interesting one, AI researchers. These researchers will work on cutting edge AI algorithms and technologies. They will explore new AI techniques and develop innovative solutions to complex problems. These problems might be business problems. These problems might be social problems. AI researchers will work in academia, research labs, and tech companies, and will have strong analytical and problem-solving skills. Six, AI data scientists, another important title. 
AI data scientists will be responsible for analyzing large data sets and developing predictive models using AI techniques. Now, they're going to be partially AI architects because they will work with cross-functional teams to identify business problems and develop solutions using data. The whole concept of machine learning is feeding the right data. So all data scientists must have strong statistical and programming skills as well as knowledge of machine learning techniques. Seven, AI UX designers. Right now, we just have a chat. We ask questions to AI and he responds. AI UX designers will be responsible for designing user interfaces and experiences for AI-based products and services. They will have a deep understanding of human-computer interaction, as well as knowledge of AI technologies and their capabilities. AI UX designers will work closely with AI product managers, AI engineers, and AI data scientists to develop user-centric AI solutions. So let's give Juan as an example again. If I can create an entire movie or a video from a series of 100 commands or prompts, I am going to need a UI UX interface to be able to enter that command and play around and make changes. I know most of you out there watched the movie Minority Report. Remember when Tom Cruise was playing around with the UI interface, changing pages and doing stuff? That's the cool stuff that the UX AI designers will design. AI will completely change the concept of creating. We will not be creating anymore. AI will be creating. We will become creative architects. Eight, this is interesting, AI ethicists. All AI ethicists will be responsible for ensuring that AI systems are developed and used in an ethical and responsible manner. We will not be able to teach AI how to create a nuclear bomb. And this title and this position is going to get controversial. Just like anything in the history over the past hundred years, we will have AI ethicists who are going to protect AI, and we will have AI ethicists who are going to try to protect humans. And we need both sides to stay alive and thrive. If an AI model is giving legal advice, it has to be monitored. So these ethicists will work with cross-functional teams to identify ethical considerations and develop policies and guidelines for AI development and use. AI ethicists will have to have a deep understanding of AI technologies, as well as knowledge of ethical frameworks and principles. And if I was creating this curriculum for a college or a university, I would make it mandatory for them to first read the book, What is Life by Schlodinger. Nine, AI trainers or AI QA engineers. These AI trainers will be responsible for training and testing AI models to ensure their accuracy and their effectiveness. They will work with large data sets to train AI models and will have to have strong analytical and problem solving skills. AI trainers also will work closely with AI engineers and data scientists to optimize AI models and ensure their performance. I said QA because they're going to see where AI make mistakes. They're going to see where AI thrives. And 10, AI consultants who will provide expert advice and guidance on AI strategy, implementation, and optimization. These AI consultants will work closely with clients to identify business problems and develop solutions using AI technologies. AI consultants will have to have strong technical and business skills, as well as knowledge of AI technologies and their applications in various industries. The most great salespeople will become AI consultants. Now, as you're watching this video, think about your position and what your position will transform to in the next 12 to 24 months. Whether you like it or not, this is happening and it is going to happen so fast that it will change the fabric of our society. If you haven't already done so, go to futuretools.io, search for whatever your title or your position is and look at all the tools that exist within that position. I would say 40 to 50% of creative and generic positions like law, accounting, design, copywriting are already 80% there. And you will lose millions of dollars in the next 10 to 20 years if you don't already have the plus version of ChatGPT and if you don't already use it. That's it for this week. We'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos on e-commerce, custom development, marketing, and much more. And leave us a comment if you'd like to discuss the contents of this video further.